Because work stood at the centre of life for so much of the 20th century, factories themselves were at the heart of urban communities in Britain. And the organisation of social space, if you like, around the factory was dominated by shops, cinemas, clubs that depended very often on the factory workforce or the families of factory workers for their livelihood. And in this particular section, we can explore those communities through maps, through trade directories, which can show you very, uh, in great deal of detail, just how the life of the streets and the neighbourhoods around the factories were actually laid out in a town like Leicester. One of the things I'd emphasise is that these were very stable communities, relatively speaking, over the 20th century, perhaps unusually stable. And we can analyse that continuity of shops and other kinds of societies and institutions through looking at trade directories, photographs and so on. I think it's a bit of an illusion to imagine that they were in some senses idyllic communities, very often from the 1930s, slum clearance plans can be, uh, can be seen. And uh, the slums began to be cleared in certain areas from this period, lasting right through to the 1970s. So oral testimony, amongst other sources, helps us to get at these experiences, at what, what it was like to live in a factory community. And it also helps us, I think, to relate these experiences to the wider processes, to the actual makeup of the district, to families and to neighbourhoods. Today we can only see the remnants of this factory civilization, if you like. But this material here helps us to reconstruct the factory community as a living entity.